Hello, this is Hakutabin, and today we are going to be templating. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. This bird. This is another Jerry. This Jerry says to take a break. Hydrate. Take your meds and a nap if you need it. Jerry's been to hell. It is full, so please stay here for the time being. Jerry's been to hell. It is full, so please stay here for the time being. Beep boop. I look for accidental high cues. Sometimes I mess up. The high cue bot picked up on that last line. My brain, as soon as I think about TMNT, meets it in mayhem, which is too late. HBO Ninja Turtles meets it in mayhem. Can I kick it? God's greatest punishment was putting in one trillion cool rocks on Earth, and no one with eyes big enough to see them all. God's greatest gift was putting one trillion cool rocks on Earth, so we might never run dry of the cool, of the joy of seeing a cool rock. I've been such a fool. That's okay. The wise man is blessed with knowledge at once, but the fool is blessed to learn every day. What does that say? Get scared to throw one of my cool rocks at your forehead. Ow, what the hell? Oh, that's the health bar, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just laying down, but not for a nap, guys. I swear I'm not... I'm getting up because but I'm not going to fall asleep. My ass is not laying my head to rest, bro. I'm just getting snug as a bug in a rug. For no reason, I'll be awake, awake the whole time, bro, I swear. If me and my stuffed animals are just hanging out, dude, I promise I'll be awake. I'm not... S Dang it. She fell asleep again. Burn us! For us! Do as you will! You have earned the right! This boy has issues. I looked up. He says after you beat him in ice hockey. <laughs> Can someone explain to me why it's perfectly acceptable to read all day, garden all day, to be at the pool all day, to work all day, to shop all day, to be out with friends all day. But the moment you sit down at, at a computer or games or console and game all day, suddenly you're wasting your life. The computer glows because it's full of Satan. This. What the heck? We open a new tab. It's gonna take me to load. I think we're going to hit the limit soon. Ego, crunch in a jar. Avalakian sipping cream. How much or can we go from here? Forty proof. I don't know what that means, but yes. <laughs> so
So I was writing a small paper in Microsoft Word and the program suddenly crashed. I saved a couple of minutes before, thank god. And I get this message recorded by screen two seconds afterward. <laughs> Microsoft Word is now playing the Elder Scrolls V as a Skyrim. What the frick? A whole new level of procrastination where your paper itself is procrastinating. Procrastination. Yeah, what the heck? The black nose strike is not known to pose a danger to humans. Yeah, man, we can tell. If you're ever having a bad day, try to imagine just how badly your family would survive in society if they were actually as bad at understanding and respecting people's boundaries as they play stupid with yours. Imagine your, your mom sitting in court and trying to jump, uh, arguing that yes, she did break into a stranger's car and tried to hotwire it and tried to drive off with the cops right, but your honor, you don't understand. How could you have known that the car is always being locked means that the owner doesn't want anyone else to drive it? How could this complete stranger be so childish as to expect everyone else to read their mind and just know when they, they don't want their property tampered with? Obviously, she wouldn't have tried committing Grand Theft Auto if she had known that the, the car's legal owner does, doesn't want her to do that. But they could have told her but that instead of just installing some silly anti theft device on it, expect everyone to just know what that's supposed to mean. So yeah, she did and do everything that she's being accused of. But she didn't like that accusatory tone, and that's why she thinks she shouldn't go to prison. Actually, mentioning a, how unrealistic the, a, an abusive person's expectations are in, in the rest of the world is a good way to uh, uh, kind of, of, of throw in their face how stupid they are. Or how crappy they're behaving. <sighs> Sometimes I feel like I'm just too naturally manipulative to gain any real benefit from be from therapy. I learn to pick up on what they want me to say, and what the right answer is, and then pair it back to them before I can make myself believe it. And once you've charmed one into thinking you're getting better, it's still telling them that you're not. Lying to someone is so much easier than convincing someone that you've been that they've been lied to. And when I bring this up, my therapist starts to reassure me that I've been doing just fine in therapy. Like, ma'am, no, you're thinking that because that's what I want you to think. I'm not voicing my doubts that I'm not good at what you want me to do. I'm telling you, I'm too good at what I actually do. Careful with that edge, boy. Go give yourself a Glasgow. Oh, oh smile. I don't know who Glasgow is, but I'm just going to say you're going to give yourself a Joker smile. <sighs> Despite the security systems now installed inside all of Disneyland's attractions and, and the monitors being watched by park employees hidden from view, couples will still try to have sex while on the dark rides, such as Pirates of the Caribbean or It's a Small Ride. Apparently not realizing that cameras are infrared and can pick up under every move. On occasion, they are soft with the warning over the loudspeaker. Other times, as they exit, they are met with applause from knowing cast members. Why didn't you just have this first? Oh, oops. Did I just... Oops, I clicked on the wrong, wrong thing. This would be so much easier. I think this is the most hilarious thing. 
The storybook font is what does it for me. Okay, so I have a story. I have worked fancy land Dumbo at Magic Kingdom. We had a girl transfer right from Pirates of the Caribbean. She told me the most amazing story. So Pirates is down, shocking, and this particular boat is stopped at the first big scene, where my boat is on the ship yelling for Jack Sparrow. Anyway, the boat has been stopped for 15 minutes, and this far nice couple sitting alone in the back. So the guy decides that nothing gets him in a better mood than the smell of water that has been changed in roughly 50 years. And convinces his girlfriend to blow him. Now, this girl is in the booth, along with the coordinator. Watch this go down, literally. There's not much they can do to stop her at this point, other than not fight security. Then another problem arises. The guy finishes and the girl makes a motion spit. In the fucking water. Now, if that load land into the water, that's an automatic bypass, so the ride is shut down for weeks. The water is removed, the right path is scrubbed, and along with the right vehicles. And then new water is brought in. Also, you can thousands of dollars and piss off tourists. The worst combination on this earth. That guy's a predicament. The, or the coordinator grabs Mike in the control booth and says, Spitting is for quitters. The echo is over the obituary of guests and 50 year old audio of hires committing various crimes. <laughs> the look on this woman's face was priceless. She gazes up as if Walt himself commanded her from the get grave and swallows. I told the right side five minutes later to come right out from the execute as best as they could. This is why you don't fuck at, at Disney, because Caspas ever will call you out and it will be the highlight of our day. And obviously, you can literally just tell people. You already other one nutting here, dude. Tumblr is currently serving an ad for VADA, the LGBTQ mental health all they have, offering daily meditation, self-care, and AI advice. And as a therapist, I'm telling you to not download an app where an AI tries to help you with your mental health. Please do not! They tried to have an AI chatbot counsel eating disorder patients and told them to diet. I mean... Isn't that what a lot of doctors tell you to do if you're or or unhealth if you're unhealthy too? That shit is not safe. Do not talk to an AI about your mental health, oh, please. You don't need to talk to a professional, but talk to a person. I went to get some of uh, cereal, so I'll just picture on the back with a, a box. I'm not good at... at Photoshop, but someone who is, please do it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You see them there on the end. So I, I really don't get it. Who? Who are you talking about? Nope, we're skipping that. Now, if you may, it is the University Alert Test on all TVs, radios, cell phones, and uh, on October 4th, 2023, at approximately 2.20 p.m. Um, Eastern Time. My TV didn't get a, an alert test. If you live in the U.S. and you have a phone, you need to keep if seeing for any reason. Make sure that it is turned off at this time. Yes, I am doing this month in advance, and yes... My vlog has very little reach. My finger barriers posted and it was about more than less. Please your vlog and add better tags than mine. I'm bad at tags.
October 4th, 2023, turn off your other phone and do not turn it on again until you're alone and safe because an alarm will come through as soon as that phone is powered on. Again, I repeat, October 4th, 2023, the alarm will come through as soon as that phone is powered back on. Um, a little bit late, but yeah, that alarm did come through. Had the worst buttery toast buttery experience today. Thanks for this RS re in in rendition. No glasses, using arm to hold plate, cold butter. Cat likes butter. Dang cats. Cats are crazy. Stoopy's original appearance from October 4th, 1950. Happy birth- Are you crapping me? Happy birthday, Snoopy! Something about the moon among the clouds feels so gothic. You ever, ever catch a glimpse of a cloud passing in front of a full moon and you're suddenly a highwayman uh, in an 18th century ghost story who just left the tavern on a chilly October night to ride horseback through the woods so you reach the next town over? Yes, actually. Actually, I think this is going to be the last one. Me? Man, my job is... Oh, it sucks. I want to play video games or something. The nefarious anglerfish. Mm. Oh my goodness, I actually turned it into an anglerfish. <laughs> well, that was our slash Tumblr. If you like this video, please leave a like on, on this video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. You would be surprised, but... On this channel, I have other videos that are very similar to this. Crazy. You should check them out. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye.